its rapids lock. This is part of the Rideau Canal on the Rideau River system, which basically runs some 202 kilometers between Ottawa and Kingston, Ontario. Um, the locks basically, and I believe there are 22 of them on this canal, um, allow boats to rise and fall as the river changes level. Um, this could be due to uh, narrow channels in the river or, uh, or rapids basically, which would be clearly unsafe um, for these vessels to traverse. So this allows them to traverse the whole canal um, and just being raised and lowered between the higher and lower parts of the river. So here what's happening at the uh, bottom of the lock gates, you can see at the top there, so this is the top end of the lock, um, we can see the sluices under the water um, are open and they're letting the higher water uh, or the river from the higher level to enter the lock. Um, the sluices at the bottom are closed, so they do not let the water exit at the bottom. And of course the result will be that the water within the lock will then raise to the level of the river above. This takes a little while. You can see the wet part of the wall there. That's basically where you'd expect the water level to rise to um, before we can actually open the gate. Once the water levels have equalized, the gates can be opened quite easily. There's no longer any resistance because the levels in and out of the lock are the same. So here's where we can enjoy some hard work, which we can watch for hours. Okay, so we're opening the lock gates basically at the top, so any vessels in the top level, uh, river basically will be able to enter freely. We have one contender at the moment. Um, did hear from the lock keeper that there are four more vessels coming down um, from the locks further up the canal. Okay, so they'll come in and more to the side of the wall, ready to be dropped down to the lower level. And it's a beautiful day here in Canada today. It uh, feels like 37 degrees. Let's go to the out of the water on this Labor Weekend. Just slide in here. Yeah, looks like we've got three lock keepers there helping out the vessels and here comes the second one okay so we got two in at the moment one each side yeah here comes another little one and some stragglers coming in now from the top <laughs> log Fish. Shapes and sizes coming down. Okay, so basically once um, all the vessels are in the lock, um, we close the lock at the top gate. Um, the sluices have obviously been closed now as well, so um, once the water level starts going down, no water from the top part of the river other than any leaks. Uh, will enter the lock and of course the result will be that the lock will empty out down to the level of the river below. Okay, so here are the guys now, they're opening the sluices at the bottom gate and you can see the water is starting to pour out. And that's allowing the lock level to drop down to the level of this part of the river. And then they can happily motor on. So you can see here we're dropping level quite quickly, obviously uh, little speed up there, otherwise it's a bit like watching cricket. And there, the Bodies have got a very limited view of the world now as they descend into the bottom of the lock. Okay, so they're sort of sitting in the bottom of the bathtub now. Um, once the uh, water has equalized again, you can see the lock gates open quite simply. No more resistance between uh, inside the lock and the lower part of the river opening the gates and we'll soon be exiting the boat from the lock and start the process all over again for somebody who might be coming up the lock.
Okay, and off they go. Off to the next one. I think it's quite a way further down, so I think it was fairly lock free for a while. Countryside here is quite flat, so perfect for this. And one more. Thank you. There we go. Empty lock. Ready to use for um, any vessels who want to go up. 